Hello fellow drone enthusiasts. I'm Sergeant Whiskey and today I'm here to share with you a couple of my methods for launching drones. Uh, this is my standard combat drone that I'm going to be carrying on uh, my carrier. And the basic way it launches is when an object enters this activation area, it'll set the activation controller over there off which then passes through to a uh, activation block and then a button block because I only want it to be a single pulse I don't want it to be constant uh, that button comes down here and attaches to this delay signal which then hits this button again and it activates my push module right here which is connected to all these push blocks in the back of the drone and it allows this drone to self-propel itself out of its dock. Let me just fix the blocks I removed here. <clears throat> and onto the dock, um, I've just set up this activation logic to use temporarily to show off this design. But basically this activation block attaches to both the delay signals here as well as this block and I'll activate that for a second. You can see it moves this small ship into the activation zone on the drone and I'll move it back there. It's also nice because you can have it flush with a wall so you, it doesn't need to be visible in the docking area. Now once it comes to this activate or uh, delay signal right here that's going to undock the ship and the reason I've got the delay is to try and make sure that the area has been activated and at the same time the reason I have the delay module on the ship and it jumps a few times between activation modules is just to give a slight delay that way I'm guaranteed it's been undocked and that about the time it's been undocked, this is hitting the activation, and then a moment later, the drone takes off. So I'll go ahead and show you what a launch looks like. Just real nicely floats out of its dock. I've done this uh, with the drone completely enclosed in its dock before. Um, I didn't have any problems with collision, although I will say that it was a stationary dock. I wasn't moving like I might in battle, which could definitely cause lag from collisions. But uh, so far this method seems pretty successful, and I haven't really subtracted anything from the drone since almost all the blocks were just slapped onto the back, and it had plenty of thrust already to accommodate for it. I've got a second docking method that I've been using. You'll notice this is the same drone that I used to self-propel itself. And this is actually the drone rack, or at least one segment of it. And I've gone ahead and docked it to a three block station. But this will allow me to actually change what is in the backpack of the drone here. So I can add shields or another effect, whatever I want to do to customize each set of drones a little bit and it will launch it um, through the dock's propulsion as opposed to the drones. I like having the propulsion system in the dock a little bit better than the mothership as it just it takes up less space on the mothership but it does increase the cost of the dock. So the logic for this is pretty simple. It starts with this activation block right here, uh, which undocks the ship, activates this button, and then goes through an AND signal. Um, the reason we go through the AND is so that when this pulses over to the AND, uh, we only want this to continually repeat and fire the beam while we have this block activated. Um, I'm going to detach this from the dock so it doesn't release my drone just yet. 
but if I activate it, you can see the logic is firing, and ultimately it should work. If I turn it off, it stops the circuit. Um, oh. And that's connected to the beam computer that fires these beams. It's all pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to reattach the dock and give it a test fire so you can see how it launches. Ta-da! And it can actually push the drones quite a ways. There it goes. I think it just about at the end of the beam but yeah these drones are a just over 81 mass and as you can see they get launched out pretty quick um, this is again just a segment of a rack it would actually be much uh, wider um, I've actually made the dock uh, face right here and the reason for that is it makes it much easier to fire this docking beam from the short end than it would be to fire it down what could be a hundred block long dock. So that's just my other docking method I've been playing with. Figured I'd show it off while I was at it with the other. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.